All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be the latest entry into a series that I recently started called Sim Chronicles. And to be quite frank with you, it's taken me quite a few minutes of deliberation to decide exactly which series I wanted to slot this video into. Because there are going to be a lot of elements that we're going to see over the course of this segment that are consistent with certain concepts that I like to address on this channel, especially pertaining to the so-called black man, a lot of the traps and the pits that we encounter. And if we don't know how to deal with them, we could end up in very bad situations. And of course, what we're going to see here is the epitome of the worst possible situation that you could end up in due to idolatry of the woman. Brothers, I cannot stress this enough. You can never take the woman more seriously than she takes herself. I'm gonna say this again. You can never take the woman more seriously than she takes herself. There is no woman worth killing over because all of these females can and will be replaced if your head is screwed on correctly enough. And I know I get it. You go out with your quote unquote woman, or at least you think that's your woman. You go to Red Lobster, you go to the steakhouse, you guys are laughing, eating, drinking. You go back to your place or her place, y'all make love, y'all do this for three, four, five months. You start to think that this is what relationships are about. And what you don't understand is that the woman is playing a certain game with herself, not just with you, but with herself. They view this society, and that's why I liken it to modern day Babylon, as an amusement park. Every person of interest that they encounter is like a ride in that amusement park. But after a while, they get tired of the idea of riding that ride again, so they move on to the next ride. And when they start to become interested in the next ride, you're going to notice a change in their attitude, a change in their personality, a change in their outlook, a change in their treatment of you. You have to be mentally prepared and accepting of that. That once the woman moves past the infatuation phase, things are going to change, especially when you're dealing with chicks 20, 22, 24 years old. The woman does not start to mature until she's 45 years old. A lot of people do not like when I say that, but it is the truth. And due to the fact that so many young males out here are not being taught about the woman because they're being raised in matriarchal households, they're being ensnared. Now, King Solomon himself, the wisest man who ever lives, tells us in Ecclesiastes 7 and 26, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, her heart talking about her mind and her hands as bands, meaning her tricks and her connivances are like shackles if you allow them to be. It says, whoso please of God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. In other words, brothers, as long as you put the most high first, you're not going to get caught up in shit like this because you're going to enter into many of these quote unquote relationships already understanding what to expect from the woman but most importantly, understanding what to expect from yourself. I'm starting to see more and more stories hitting the mainstream media about men deciding that they're going to kill the woman and take their own life. That is the manifestation of their weakness and the lack of instruction that they received as children about what they should hold in the highest importance. And that's not the woman, that's the most high and that's their own peace of mind. Brothers, if the woman that you're with is not as concerned with your peace of mind as you are, she has to go. The woman has to provide you with three pieces. A piece of steak, a piece of ass, and most importantly, a piece of mind. If she's not providing you with all three of those things, she has to go. And I'll even give her a break on the first one because most of these broads can't boil water. But at the very least, she has to be providing you with the last two. If she's not concerned with that, it's okay. Goodbye. A lot of cats get traumatized because, once again, they have these great experiences with these females who are only in it for the moment. The woman lives her life from moment to moment. As soon as she starts to get bored, she's going to change. The woman is galvanized by envy and boredom. Once the woman starts to get bored, she is going to move on. That's all right. Are you concerned with yourself as much as you are with that woman? I promise you you're not if you're even contemplating killing a woman who decides that she's going to be what most women are, which is capricious and whimsical. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. Now on News 4, a triple shooting inside a Brooklyn apartment. Two people are dead, two families now searching for answers. What we know about the shooter who barged in and opened fire. Two families are searching for answers after a triple shooting in Brooklyn. Well, I could provide some answers for what transpired. That cat looked at the woman as his God. Brothers, you have to ask yourself certain questions. What would you do if you woke up tomorrow morning and there's some two-page text from some woman saying, it's just not working out. 
I think we should take a break. I think we should see other people. Is she trying to harm you or is she doing you a favor? I promise you, you might think that she's harming you, but she's actually doing you a favor because she's telling you that she does not respect you enough to maintain the facade and that she now is more concerned with moving on and playing a game with the next man and leaving you to your own devices. We have to view solitude as the default level of our being, meaning what? You cannot be someone as a grown man who cannot be by yourself. As a matter of fact, in order to attain to a high level of proficiency and success in life, you have to embrace solitude. If you don't know how to be by yourself, you're never going to be successful as a man. And before you decide to enter into any of these relationships, you should be living by yourself. You should be able to pay your own way, pay your own bills, pay your rent, pay your mortgage, your car note, whatever it is that you have before you enter into what they call a quote unquote relationship with a woman because the woman <laughs> is going to take up a lot of your time and she's going to try to play games with your sanity after a while because the woman for the most part is a child with breasts. Are there exceptions to that rule? Sure. But they come very few and far between. And I believe that this brother, I believe once again his name is Darnell Solomon, started to take the woman too seriously. He's probably someone who has a very difficult time meeting women. Maybe he has issues with his own personality, or maybe he just allowed himself to fall in love with the woman and he viewed her as his property. Brothers, we're not in the ancient world anymore. The woman is not our property. She's more like a vehicle that you're leasing. Enjoy the ride. She's more like a bus ride. Enjoy the ride. When it's time for you to get off, get off the bus. There was someone sitting in your seat before you. There's going to be someone sitting in that seat after you're gone. They say that shooter barged into an apartment near the corner of Utica Avenue and Avenue M and just started shooting. Two people were killed. News 4's Anjali Hemphill is live in the Flatland section with new information about the victims. Anjali? Well, police have just released the names of the two people who were killed as 24-year-old Janae Duncan and 30-year-old Darnell Solomon. And in just the last hour, officers did reopen Utica Avenue to traffic, but a crime scene van remains as investigators are still inside that building processing a gruesome scene. So, brothers, the female was 24 years old. I'm already on record as stating the woman does not even begin to mature until she's 45. When you decide that you're going to quote unquote date a young female who's 24, you have to assume that it's not going to work. I'm gonna say it again, you have to assume. Of course, you don't state that explicitly, but in the back of your mind, you have to assume that it's not going to work. After a certain period of time, the woman is going to get bored with the redundancy, with the repetition of your calls, of your texts, of your being, whatever it is, and she's going to start to act up. And depending on what her alternatives are, or what her options are, are going to determine how much longer your relationship is going to last. So once the woman stops showing you the same courtesy that she was showing you initially, that's her way of telling you that you should start mentally preparing yourself to move on to something else. That's why it's of the utmost importance that brothers have interests that are spiritually based or something that's meant to be a manifestation or a way to showcase their inner talents. Your life can never be and should never be about the woman. It just cannot. Now, if you decide to get married to that woman or have children with her, of course, that's a person that's going to be a part of your life for the duration, at least hopefully for you. But you still should tread very lightly. The woman has to be on lifetime probation because they just have too many options. So you have to look at it like that. Cats meet these chicks wherever they meet them and they think that it's going to be a lifelong thing. The woman is not thinking on that level. She's thinking about how much fun she's going to have with you right now. She's saying, oh, he's attractive. I'll let him take me here. I'll let him take me there. I'll give him some ass for now. That's what's going on in the back of her mind. And who knows? It could be that Mr. Darnell Solomon was never wrapped too tight. A lot of cats, they have things going on in their mental. They have psychological problems. They have spiritual issues. Maybe he himself was someone who was giving her some red flags. Either way, my channel is always going to be focused on the man and what he needs to do because I don't expect the woman to change. I've stated this, <laughs> I've stated this elsewhere. I get a lot of these chicks who come to my channel and say, oh, I've learned so much from your channel about myself. And I just want to thank you because I've been with my boyfriend for eight years and you've made me see some of the things that I've done wrong. <laughs> I say, why are you apologizing to me? Why are you thanking me? Go thank your man and apologize to him because he's been the one putting up with your bullshit for all these years. 
But just to get back to the point, brothers, focus on the things that matter. There is never a reason to kill the woman and or yourself over a relationship. Expect her to have an expiration date. Start to expect that. Now, don't wear it on your sleeve. You know, a lot of these people, they've been through so many traumatic issues in previous relationships. They start to wear the temporal aspect of a relationship on their sleeve. Oh, I know this is going to end soon. I know you're going to change. You ever come across some of those chicks? I shouldn't expect you to keep texting me. I know the calls are going to stop. That's a way for them to create and make manifest the negativity that's within them. Don't be like that, but just understand in the back of your mind, if this woman starts to change, which she probably will, especially if she's younger, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to fold up? Are you going to break down? Are you just going to move on with your life? You have to move on with your life. Enjoy the good times that the Most High gives you, especially in this captivity, and move on. We have to stop acting like this is our rest. This is our captivity. You don't expect a banquet with great food when you're in captivity. You expect rations. Whatever you find out there in the wilderness is what you find. <laughs> Loved ones just finding out the tragic news breaking down in front of the apartment building where two people were killed and another hurt after a triple shooting. It's like blood everywhere upstairs. I got a peek and it's just terrible. This glass shattered. This is terrible in here. Sammy Richards lives downstairs and spoke to News 4 on FaceTime as officers took over the building and prevented her from leaving during that ongoing investigation. Police say they arrived around 2 Sunday afternoon to an upstairs apartment off Utica Avenue in Brooklyn and found a 24-year-old woman, Janae Duncan, and 30-year-old Darnell Solomon shot in the head. They were both pronounced dead at the hospital. 24-year-old woman, Janae Duncan. Brothers, these women go through a series of whole phases. They love to have an initial whole phase from their mid to late teens throughout their early to mid 20s. And then if they happen to have a quote unquote boyfriend who they take seriously, when they get into their late 20s, they'll start trying to pressure that boyfriend to marry them. And if he chooses to not marry them, no matter how good a person he is, she's going to drop that person and enter into another whole phase that will last throughout her early to mid 30s. After that, she tries to become some quote-unquote wise older woman. And then when she reaches her mid-40s, that's when she actually starts to understand that life might possibly could be about someone or something other than herself. The woman lives the first 40 plus years of her life as a complete and total narcissist. That's why the most High has to give her the mother or the maternal DNA so that she can actually learn how to care about someone other than herself. When you enter into these reports with that understanding, nothing will surprise you. Another 33-year-old man was discovered shot in the chest. Richard said... Yes, that was her quote-unquote new boyfriend. So the dude, Darnell Solomon, decided that he was going to quote-unquote bust into her apartment, kill her, kill the new guy, and then kill himself. And of course, the new guy lived. And that's why, once again, brothers, you never fight over a woman. Because if she happened to live, I promise you, She's going to be fucking a third guy that neither one of them knew about. Gunman was an angry ex-boyfriend who killed her neighbor, his ex-girlfriend, and then shot her new boyfriend before turning the gun on himself. She kicked on the door and used her bow, 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 three times. I heard three shots. And then, um, it was just quiet. Police have not confirmed who fired the gun, but what happened has left friends and neighbors of the woman who lived here in shock over her violent death. Very good person. Very good person. Did you know her in depth? Or are you just saying that because she used to say hello to you every day and she had a fat butt? Very friendly. Everybody. Yeah, that's probably part of the problem. Maybe she was a little bit too friendly, at least for the taste of Mr. Darnell Solomon. Once again, brothers, women will show you signs. If it's too easy for her to talk to strange men, if you're walking down the street <laughs> with the woman, and every dude walking the opposite way knows that woman, those are signs that she gets around. Those are signs that you're not going to last long. Take them into account and take them seriously. They used to fight all the time, but it's like, you know, I never like, thought it would have been went this far. Once again, that's an attempt by the modern day liberal woman to try to normalize a lot of the tumult that has become so much a part of modern relationships Brothers, it's not a natural thing 
for you to argue with the woman all the time. If she's always trying to argue with you, that's a major sign that you should be considering your exit strategy. No real woman is trying to argue all the time. And if you're someone who has your shit together, meaning if you're someone who's bringing in a real income for yourself and can provide for yourself, if you're someone who has good hygiene, if you're respectful, there are not that many reasons why a woman should be trying to pick an argument with you. If you're in a situation where you have all your ducks in a row and that woman is still trying to bicker and or argue with you is because she's looking for a way out and she probably has her sights set on the next man. That's okay. Move on and start to consider your own options. I've never seen he's so quiet. I never thought he was he's even capable of that. Now the liberal black female neighbor said he was so quiet she never thought that he was capable of that. What that really means is that he was keeping all of his anger and his resentment at how much she was changing and how much she was harming their relationship inside. Brothers, don't, don't harbor all that negative energy because it's gonna come out. You're either gonna try to harm that woman physically or you're gonna try to start shit with somebody else. A lot of these guys that be out in the street popping each other, shooting each other, it's because of the anger that they have over what's going on in their personal life with some broad. Then they walk down the street, they see the next black man, nigga, what you looking at? What you looking at? Next thing you know, you drawing, shooting this dude because of something that is going on in your personal life with some woman who ain't shit. Don't keep that shit inside. If the woman does not know how to treat you, exit stage left. Find someone else. And the most important thing is, don't be scared to be by yourself, man. You have to understand what your standards are supposed to be in a relationship. And if you don't know, take the time to be by yourself to grasp who it is that you want in your life. And we also have to make sure that we're going to be a benefit for someone else's life. A lot of cats are not ready to be in a relationship because they don't have shit and they don't know shit. So quiet. We're told the 33-year-old man who was hurt in all of this is still in the hospital in stable condition. We're live in the Flatlands section of Brooklyn tonight. Anjali Hemphill, News 4, New York. But anyway, that's basically it on that. Once again, brothers, this is going to be the end of this video pertaining to the Simp Chronicles. And yes, he was a simp because he worshipped that woman as a god or as a quote-unquote goddess. And so many of these females, <laughs> they don't understand. When I do these videos... They might think that I'm slandering women or I'm speaking down on women. I'm actually helping them out because they like to think that they want a man to fall in love with them. When a man falls in love with a female, that's like someone who initiates a drug addiction in their life. Most people cannot quit that drug cold turkey. And after a while, if they start to yearn for that drug hard enough, they'll do anything to get that drug back, even if they have to harm someone or harm themselves. And that's what we see in these situations like this. So keep the woman in her proper perspective. Understand where we're at. We're in Babylon. These women are Babylonian, meaning they take their energy from the great whore of Babylon, Ishtar. They're going to move from man to man. Make sure that you understand that and that you take your time to scrutinize the woman, her ways and her movements so that we can, you know, stop little bullshit silly shit like this killing a woman killing yourself that's nonsense that's not going to help anyone but anyway peace